recently I had a web development project where the website was currently down and inoperable on a web Wix platform. But there was a previous version of the website actually hosted on a different domain that the client really appreciated and liked. Of course, we had no access to this website, no way to log in and obtain credentials. So I'm going to show you how I use the Wayback Machine in a current web development project. So this is the website after I've worked on it. Uh, this is for a vending machine repair company. This is the way the website looked three weeks ago when I got in touch with the client. He had an inoperable Wix site on the current domain that he wished to build upon. But he told me about a previous domain that had some imagery and, and text that he really appreciated. And so here we go. I went to the Wayback Machine the Internet Archive web.archive.org dropped in the domain he provided to me and then searched up here you see the timeline I found the operable years 2014 to 2016 and so I zoomed in on 2015 and then in a new tab I opened up this screenshot of the website as it was at that time in that place and then I used this I cut and paste or this hero image here I simply did a uh, did a perfectly sized screenshot of this image and then I uploaded it here into the new site WordPress media area and I inserted it in as a slider image So to me, that was a perfect way to repurpose some previous graphic design web material that the client had that was a little bit hard to get a hold of using the Wayback Machine. Also grabbed a good amount of text, service description, other things like that, which I incorporated into the new site here in particular on the About page. So I hope this helps you. Thank you so much. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the platform shop for more tantalizing videos on how to become better at digital marketing and build niche sites and your own online platforms. Thanks so much. God bless.